Danny Segura for MMAJunkie.com. I'm here with Paige Van Sand, who's fighting Rachel Ostevich in the main event of BKFC 19. First of all, Paige, this is your second fight in BKFC. You unfortunately took a, a loss in your debut, but you, you made some changes. Obviously, you, you're now training under a boxing team uh, and, and not so much with ATT. Can you talk about the experiences and the lessons that you took from the first fight and the, all the changes that you've made ahead of this fight? Yeah, you know, I, I took a lot of lessons from that. I, I do feel like, though, I, you really need experience in vertical boxing to, to be successful. And now that I have the experience, I have one fight under my belt. I, I continue to grow with this sport, with the division, with this organization. And, uh, you know, it's unfortunate for Rachel. I feel like I, I made the moves after that last fight. I, I took a lot of lessons from it. I, I switched over to Mundo Boxing with Pedro Diaz. I got one of the best boxing coaches in the world in my corner. And I haven't stopped working since that fight, and uh, this is definitely a, a brand new fighter that you're going to see. Yeah, and you were a bit hard on yourself after that defeat, um, but knowing that, like, look, you know, you've never done BKFC, right, bare knuckle boxing, uh, and as you said, like, it requires experience for you to make those changes and kind of feel what the fight is like and, and what you need to bring in there. Um, does that defeat, you know, seem a little less, I guess, uh, consequential, or I don't know how you, you would want to call it? No, a loss is a loss and it sucks. I mean, especially because when you sacrifice so much of your life for something, you know, we're not like, uh, you know, basketball players and football players who you get to lose as a team and then you lose one game and then a week later you're playing two more games. So you kind of get to bounce back. You know, it takes a lot longer for us to bounce back after a loss because it takes a full fight camp for you to fight again. And, uh, yeah, I think there's a lot of things I could take away. I, I know that I meant for this. Um, you know, a lot of people, I think, told me how tough I looked, how strong I was, and how I did grow as the fight grew. In the fifth round, I could have knocked her out. It was, if it could have been just one more minute longer. So it, it's um, a lot of good things were taken from that and a lot of lessons. I, I feel like it was important for me to switch to a traditional boxing gym and, and really focus on straight boxing for this next yeah. fight. And if you could pinpoint, like, what are the, the things that you had to, like, okay, I need to, you know, cross this. These are the things that I need to make sure I'm covered uh, as I return for, for BKFC. Sorry, chaos going on out there. Yeah, all kinds <laughs> um, of you know, for, for BKFC, uh, what was your question again? Like, what, what are the things that, like, after the debut, we were like, okay, these are the things that I need to cross in my training camp heading into the second fight. Like, these are the things that, that, that are the difference between MMA or boxing and BKFC. Yeah, you know, after the first fight, you know, going and signing with BKFC, I was two feet in with the organization, but I felt like I was wanted to leave that door open to MMA just because I, I'm so passionate about MMA. But, um, you know, you never know if you're going to love something until you do it, but I truly do love bare knuckle boxing. So now I've, I've dropped MMA completely, and I, I am focused on just straight boxing. And for bare knuckle in particular, there, there's a lot of things that aren't traditional to boxing. So it's just making a few changes with my training partners to make it applicable to BKFC and to bare knuckle boxing. Yeah, and uh, this will be Rachel's first fight in the sport, in the promotion. Um, do you feel like you have an edge because you went in there, you already know what it takes to be successful, right? You already know what you need to, to do in there to get a W. Do you feel like you have an edge over her? I know that going into this fight, there, there isn't that question for me, like, what is it going to feel like? Like, am I going to break my hands? Am I going to get cut open right away? There's, there's those questions of just kind of like, what's it going to feel like, one, emotionally, and two, physically. Now I don't have those questions. I know what it's going to, I know exactly what it's going to feel like fight night. I know what I'm going to go through, and I'm going to know the whole plan the entire night. Whereas, um, you know, those are questions I'm sure that she, she might have, just wondering how this is all going to go down in your first fight ever. It's, it's trying something brand new for the first time. It's always a little scary. Yeah. And, um, you know, the, the president, uh, David Feldman, already alluded, like, this is not really a rematch. Like, this is a different sport, right? But a lot of people are calling it a rematch. Um, anything you, you take away from that first meeting? Obviously, different rules set, different promotion. You won by armbar, which you can't win here. But as a competitor, anything you take away uh, from that first meeting? Oh, uh, yeah, this definitely isn't a rematch. You know, I went back and rewatched our fight before beforehand. I watched it this week. And uh, we truly didn't have almost any, like, fight ex or, like, uh, boxing exchanges. The whole thing was me trying to kick her, her trying to take me down. So uh, she won't be taking me down, and I won't be kicking her in this fight. So that's a, a huge difference going into this one. So I don't see it as a rematch. It's definitely, this is a boxing match. It's completely different. It's a different sport. We're common opponents, but we're doing something brand new. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if uh, you've taken the time to, to realize this, but this, this month is the um, anniversary, the one-year anniversary since you left the, the UFC or your last Crazy. fight in the UFC. <laughs> um, have you gotten a chance to kind of look back, uh, you know, at this whole journey and this big decision? Because 
obviously uh, it was a big decision that changed changes the course of somebody's career, right? For sure. You know, no, I haven't looked back. Honestly, I feel like you take those moments when you look back on your life is because there might be something better in the past. But since I've left my future, like everything, it's just gotten better and better every, every single second. You know, I, I'm so excited to be with BKFC. I, I love boxing. I love my new gym. I love everybody I train with. There's nothing in the past that I miss. And I always wondered, like, would I miss the UFC? And I, I don't. I don't miss it at all. I love being here. I love boxing. Um, my life's changed in, in all the best ways possible. Yeah. And uh, as a fan, do you pay any attention to the division? Do you watch fights, any of that, over in the UFC? Oh, yeah. I'm still a fight fan. I watch all the UFC fights, all the Bellator fights. Um, my husband's about to fight for a Bellator title. So, uh, yeah, I still tune into pretty much any combat sport. Yeah. Any chance we see you back in mixed martial arts? You say you still love it. You still have a love um, for it. You know what? It's getting further and further away. Honestly, I feel like that's a big part of my past that the door might be closed. I never like to say it because who knows, but right now I am really loving just straight boxing. Yeah. Do you think there will ever be a, a point in the near future where you realize, like, okay, yeah, the door's closed. This is what I'm doing, and that's done. No, I feel like, you know, we, we see a lot of fighters retire, right? And they either retire off of a win or they retire off a loss. You don't want to retire off a loss because you want to go out on top. But if you retire off a win, why would you retire if you're still winning? So there, there's so many questions that you have. I'm never going to say that it's over for me in MMA, but... I, I just, I love the position I'm in right now. Yeah. Well, certainly looking forward to this uh, fight on Friday uh, and see what's next for your career as well. Thank you so much, Paige, and uh, best of luck against Thank Rachel you so much. Osage.